everybody. Now at 11, teaming up to take down a killer. Boom, 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 boom. Tonight, the heroes inside yesterday's church shooting in Orange County. I think there's too much. Somebody had to stop this guy. And the physician who died trying to save others. His objective was to save whoever he could, and he did. Tonight, chilling new details about the suspect's motives and the message from law enforcement. With one unified voice, there's no place for hate. And a good evening, I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Colleen Williams. We're also streaming right now on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. Here's the very latest on the shooting. The suspect, David Zhou, is jailed tonight on suspicion of murder and five counts of attempted murder. Prosecutors are investigating this now as a possible hate crime, and they plan to file charges sometime tomorrow. The 68-year-old accused shooter apparently walked into the Geneva Presbyterian Church, mingled with parishioners there, and then changed some of the doors, tried to nail another one shut, and put super glue on the locks of others so no one could escape. Investigators say he also brought in four Molotov cocktails and bags of additional ammunition. They were not used. We have team coverage for you tonight, beginning with Robert Kavasik, who has the story of the doctor who sacrificed his life to save others. But first tonight, Hetty Chang live with the firsthand accounts of Pastor Billy Chang and his wife, who describe how they rushed over both of them to help out and what else happened moments after the shooting. Hetty. Chuck and Colleen, tonight we asked Pastor Billy Chang if he felt scared in that moment, and he said no. At 68 years old, he knew he had the strength to fight that suspect. As for his wife, well, yeah, she says she was terrified, but in that moment, she knew what she had to do. Leaders in politics, law enforcement, and faith gathered around him in the power of prayer. At the center, Pastor Billy Chang, whose heroic efforts took down the gunman, and police believe saved dozens more from harm. My congregation thanks for to everybody, to whole nation, you know, whole world. They pray for. In this moment of gratitude in front of dozens tonight at the Christ Our Redeemer Church, Pastor Chang told us he could not help but feel guilt. The other hero, Dr. John Chang, was killed. Because of Dr. Chang and his mother come to the church for me. This photo shows Pastor Chang holding down the man with the gun. Seconds after the pastor thought to grab a chair to throw at him, possibly dislodging the gun from the man's hand. Listen to what Chang says the man said and what Chang and others did in response. He just said in the Mandarin, in the Mandarin, I cannot breathe. 我不能呼吸. I, 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 I tell the, the member just a, a, a little bit loose, let, let him, have, him, him breathe. In this photo, you see Chang's wife, Yuling. The, the gun is boom, 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 boom. As her husband held down the suspect, Yuling says she grabbed an orange electrical cord to tie down his legs. Ten minutes, the police will come, come here. Where the gun? Where the gun? Yuling says when the gun dropped to the floor, she grabbed it, threw it in the fridge of all places. She explains all she was trying to do is get the gun away from him. All this happening as Dr. John Chang laid next to them, bleeding. Yuling cannot unhear Dr. Chang's mother's cries. His mother, his mother is crying. My son, my son, my son. The Changs tell us that COVID, the pandemic, kept them in Taiwan for a very long time, and this was really their first chance to travel back here to Orange County to see everyone. They thought Sunday would be a very happy reunion. We're live in Laguna Woods tonight. Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.